What's going on everybody? Dato Doya here with another Dragon Ball Fighters video. And this time I'm going to be talking about different ways you can get around somebody that's blocking. Now a lot of people have recommended this topic to me so I can't list them all here, but I do want to say thank you if you've ever recommended this topic in the past. Also, some newcomers that have recommended this refer to this as block spamming, and I haven't really heard that term a lot in the past, but I'm definitely not that big of a fan of it. It just feels weird to complain about something that they can't actively deal damage to you with. With that being said, I do get where all the anger comes from. It does feel kind of weird to play a fighting game with someone that's content with not fighting at all, but this video should help you find ways to get around that. Alright, so before we get to the advanced ways to get around somebody that's blocking, we should probably start with the basics. There are two different ways to block in Dragon Ball Fighters. You can block by holding back, or you can block by holding down back. Usually holding down back is the best way to go, because it blocks a lot of quick lows and normals. The only thing that blocking low loses to is overheads, which you have to block by just holding back on your controller. So now that we know that, we know one basic way to get around somebody that's blocking. If they're blocking low, hit them with an overhead. If they're blocking by standing back, just hit them with a low. But what if you're fighting someone that's so good on defense that they can block your lows and react to your overheads? Now you're struggling to hit them. Well now you can perform something that's called a cross-up attack. By jumping over your enemy, you switch the side that they have to block on in order to guard against your attack. If you do it fast enough and they don't see it coming, it'll result in a hit for you which could lead into a full combo. So now that you're able to perform a cross-up, people that can only react to lows and overheads in front of them are going to easily get hit by these. But what about when you reach the next level of opponent that can block what's in front of him and can react to cross-ups in time? Well here's where you can perform something that's known as a dragon rush in this game and a lot of other games just call throw. By hitting the light and medium button you can perform something that's called a dragon rush and it'll hit the opponent even if he is blocking. After the dragon rush you can follow your opponent into the air where you can perform a full combo. But there is another catch. By hitting any attack button on his controller the opponent can actually counter this Dragon Rush and put you guys back into a state of neutral. So this is where we reach the end of things you can do to counter bad defense. Now that you know all of these basics, it's actually fully possible to play against somebody so good on defense that they can block every hit you throw out the entire match. But humans make mistakes all the time and they have to react to things by seeing them or hearing them. So now we get into the stage where mix-ups become a thing and you can add more cross-ups into your game and different universal techniques that can be seen in a lot of fighting games. Let's start with one of my favorites, the empty jump low. So in order to see the effectiveness of the empty jump low, you have to realize that in order to block any attack that comes from a jumping opponent, you have to block by holding standing back. Now if you remember, if you're blocking by holding back, you're leaving yourself open to low attacks. So basically, the empty jump low is a technique in which you jump at your opponent, forcing them to think that you're going for an aerial attack, so they block by holding back. But you actually don't throw out any buttons until you hit the ground in which you hit them with a low. After that, it's free reign to start up a combo. And this next way to beat a blocking opponent is actually kind of just a more advanced cross-up attack. You see, in anime games like this, you're allowed to dash in the air. This allows for some really crazy mix-ups. And one of the most basic is jumping over your opponent, making them switch the way they're guarding, and then air dashing backwards in order to hit them on their original side. It looks super sick and it's super effective, and it's something that you can very easily implement into your game. Another great reason why this tool is so useful is because that when you backdash back on the second part of it, you can then decide which side you're going to land on by changing the time in which you want to backdash. You can see examples of that here. And as far as universal mechanics and beating blocking opponents, that's about as many as I can think of. But there are a few character specific ones that you can use, such as Super Saiyan Blue Goku's instant transmission, which you're able to decide which side you get to pop up on, Beerus' level 3 as well as Trunks' level 3, and Tien's heavy volleyball fist, which is a command grab as well. Well, that's all the ways I can think of hitting an opponent that blocks a lot, but if there's anything you thought of, please let others know down in the comments below. And while you're down there, if you like the video and enjoy the channel, make sure you hit the like button and subscribe. I greatly appreciate it. I'm Dato Doya, and I'll see you in the next one.